What's the difference for using your hands and your forearm and your bicep and larger muscles to close the club face? When you use your hands and your forearms, you're using your smaller muscles. More importantly, you're going to be getting in the way of the natural movement. Remember, the natural movement for closing is this. And notice I'm not doing anything with my hands, my forearms, and it closes naturally. If you've decided you've got to use your arms to speed this up, what are you really doing? You're getting in the way of that natural movement. That is not helping. That's what a lot of people do. Or even worse, because you're tensing those muscles up, the natural close doesn't actually happen. You think you're trying to close it, when in fact you're getting in the way. Conversely though, if you use your bicep and big muscles to just to just support that natural rotation that's occurring anyway, not only not are you getting in the way, but you can kind of kickstart it a little bit. You can just roll it and just naturally let it roll across your chest. And when that happens, they will naturally close. Just rolls across. When you use your wrist and forearms, you don't turn your elbow, which leaves it pointing at the target. When it's pointing at the target, you risk hyperextending this joint. And when you hyperextend this joint, your body tries to protect itself by bending it, which is a chicken wing. When you use your bicep to close it, that rolls over, and you don't have to worry about a chicken wing. The other difference is when you use your bicep and your shoulders, you're using your big muscles. And big muscles are more consistent than small muscles. Using your big muscles to close, you get a consistent close. When you use your hands and wrist, which are really small, you're using your small muscles, you're gonna be less consistent. So use your big muscles to close your club face, not your little muscles of your hand.